So we got the Prosoka R Guard installed yesterday. That is dry. Now we're putting up the OSI quad butyl flashing. And then we'll layer a tape over the flange as an additional layer of weatherproofing. The nice thing about this tape is the backing comes off in two sections. So you could peel off one section, apply that and leave the other section non-tacky. Why do Prosoco R-Guard at the base? That's to create a membrane between the concrete and the aluminum. That way that aluminum is not touching that concrete. It's also a real good moisture protection against these vulnerable areas like these little cracks and corners. Helps seal all that up. Another thing I like about this OSI tape is this plastic backing here. It doesn't tear, unlike the paper backing that some of this butyl flashing has. Applying the sealant over the quad butyl. Notice that mohawk tip. Creates a really nice bead so when the fin sits on it. So you're applying a nice thick bead of the quad and you're putting that quad about a quarter inch in yep. approximately up there. We'll bring it pretty close to the edge. I'm going to get the ladder for that. Then these shims, which we already have in place, we'll place the quad a nice thick bead over that and that'll seal off the base. Yep. And then the frame, we need to move all the way out that way so we can cock the leg. I'll tell you what. I'll hold that frame. You want me to hold it or just move it? No, because then the frame's going to sit on the All right, backing. let's move it. That's the bead that sticks the shims, and then you do one over, over the shims. The, yep, and then it goes like this. Yeah, to seal it. Yep. Squirt. Yeah, where the shims are the thickest, it's got to be a pretty thick bead, but mm -hmm. it looks like it will touch it, and It'll you go, go over, over it again. It, and yeah. That's why you do that mohawk cut on, yeah. the, on the thing. So you get a real tall bead and I am out. Ready? So I'll show you the, the mohawk technique here. All right, let's check that out. So you pick your quarter inch predetermined slice there. Uh -huh. There you go, which I have done before. Yeah, when you're cutting into yourself, you gotta be really careful like that. Well, and it was a dull blade too, which didn't help. And I always like to poke it a bunch. Some people just poke it once and then you're squeezing really hard with the caulking gun. Yeah. I like to poke it a bunch just so we don't fight the caulking. A problem with getting some extra exercise using a regular caulking gun. But the other problem with that electric one is there, there, it does have issues with it. Oh, really? Yeah, this one installer I used to work with had one, and he was always fixing it. And you're doing all that to save your forearms when you could use that extra exercise, right? I agree. We're at a quarter inch gap there. This is going to hold itself. See, now that it rolls, I'm going to check reveal over here. Yeah. Want to come inside and see the reveal? Yeah, let's check it out. So, we need to go up on the All right, backside. on the back. Yep. There we go. And for settling, I'm going to do a, a little bit higher here. A little higher. Yeah, just a There bit. you go. A few turns. That's good. So, it's still... Rubber's still on the ground. Got to get that wheel up. You want to tell me when you're good? Yep. Keep going. Another turn. Let's try that. Like, to me, that looks pretty good. A little more, yeah. tiny bit. One more. One more? Yeah, one more. Okay, try that. Let's see. Because the weather seals just. There. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to go too much, no. but we we'll need to adjust that. Wow, that's way off. Let's test that out. 
right. So now we address, adjusted the strike plate to compensate for the, the lock. And then like butter. Beauty. All right, let's get the fixed panel in and we're done. That's perfect. It's right on the 45. Yeah. Uh, actually, it could go down. Covers back on. You know, before I put this cover back on, well, I'll get that off later. Yeah. I want to keep this on. Yeah. That sure. white. That's how it should work. No resistance. Perfect. So, a fixed panel, we're just same thing. Just top in first. Except we come in, toss this door a little bit. There's no seal or anything that goes on it. No, first. nothing. It just uh, slips right in. All the seal is underneath there. And where's the brackets for it? So they're over there. Okay. So I'll let you put in the brackets. And we actually get um, six zip screws and the two brackets. We started by putting in the movable panel. That went in first. Then we installed the fixed panel. We put a bracket at the top seal it in place and then that inserts into the frame and then we applied an additional layer of this osi quad butyl flashing over the top of the flange itself and then when they waterproof with the jumbo tech they'll layer that in there and that finalizes our install for this 600 western door and then we protect the inside put some caution tape we make sure that the sliding glass door is sealed and that helps seal that threshold, keep that thing down with the weight of the fixed panel and then the weight of the sliding glass door, holding that in place while that sealant is curing.